to measure the PR interval for your Relias exam or for your patient, you will use similar methodology to the QRS complex. We're obviously just measuring a different part of the strip. So again, let's look for a PR interval that starts on a solid line, if we can find one. So I'm looking for a P wave that starts on a solid line. In this case, I don't see one. So again, I'll just take my paper, I'll find a P wave, and I'm gonna draw a line where it starts to leave the baseline. That's the beginning of my PR interval. And I'm going to end my PR interval when um, the baseline comes up into the QRS complex. So right here, I can see I'm coming up into the QRS complex. So I'm gonna draw a line down there to symbolize the end of the PR interval. I'm gonna take my lines and move them up to a solid part of the grid. And I can see that I have one, two, three boxes in for my PR interval. That's 0.012 seconds. If I look at my answers again, I don't have one that says 0.012 seconds, but I do have one that says 0.16. I'm going to choose the closest answer to the answer that I got. I could also measure a couple other PR intervals and take the average. Maybe the average is closer to 0.16, but in this case, closest answer to 0.12 is 0.16. I'm going to select that as the correct answer for my exam.